Hello, my name is Harry and welcome again to A Senior's Perspective with a Twist. I am continuing my series of giving good advice. The subject that I want to discuss uh, at this moment is Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving is thankfulness, uh, gratitude uh, for acts of kindness or favors or something that has been done on your behalf uh, that makes you grateful and makes you have and express appreciation. Um, it's good advice to say thank you when someone does something for you. Uh, we do live in a time when uh, people sometimes don't express uh, thanks or thanksgiving for something that's done uh, for their benefit or on their behalf. I remember when I was a child, that was one of the big things that uh, we as my brothers and sisters were taught to say. When someone done some, did something kind for you, uh, didn't charge you anything, but out of the kindness and generosity of their heart, you should say, or we were told to say, we were taught to say, thank you thank you can go a long ways it's the individual who receives something and never uh, responds with a gesture of thankfulness a gesture of saying i appreciate what you've done for me in this day and age um, saying thank you as i said can go and has gone a long way uh, People at times when they do things for people, for others uh, that they didn't have to do, uh, they get, uh, th th there's a, an expression, I guess I might say, that uh, they have when someone turns and, and just kind of gushes with, with thanksgiving for something that they received or was done on their behalf that the other person didn't have to do. So saying thankful. Uh, excuse me, saying thank you today is a proper thing to do. Uh, I'm thankful, and when I think of thankfulness, I think of the Bible. I think of God's Word. I think of God Himself and all that He has done on our behalf and all that He continues to do. Every single day we are blessed as human beings uh, who uh, the Scriptures tell us that we were created in His image. So when we get up in the morning, uh, because God has allowed us to live another day, the proper thing to say is thank you, Lord, for this day that I have been given by you. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my strength. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the things that I possess. We should say thank you. I know there are people who don't believe in God. There are people who don't think of God. Uh, some even think that they have pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps. Uh, where I'm at now, I got here by my own doing. Uh, they're, in my opinion, not thinking clearly. Uh, because after all, every breath, we're just, each of us are just one breath away from death. Uh, and if that person really thought about it, you did not actually get yourself up. Uh, some kind of way, somehow, a force more powerful than you and I allows each and every one of us to get up every single day. That's not the only thing that I want to talk, talk about being thankful for. Remember I said Thanksgiving. I also thank God not only for myself as a human being and what I possess and family <clears throat> and my very life, but I also thank him for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, Again, a lot of, some people, I won't say a lot of people, some people don't even acknowledge that God uh, is God. They don't acknowledge that God has a son. And uh, for those who don't acknowledge that, I, 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 all I can say is a prayer for that individual who does not realize uh, that God uh, does have a son and his name is Jesus and God did send him to save man from what God says is sin. 
He says, all of sin comes short of the glory of God. Now, I know, again, someone might say, you're preaching. Well, if you want to call it preaching, yes. Because uh, God did tell uh, those who are saved, those who are his disciples, those who are Christians, believers, that we are to share uh, the gospel to a world that does not know him in the pardon of their sins. That is our responsibility. And uh, we should not take that lightly because what happens is if an individual does not receive Christ as their savior, uh, then the Bible says after they leave this earth, then there's judgment. Uh, we don't want to see anyone to be judged in their sins because that's why God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins, to die in our place. And then not only that, but God raised him from the dead on that third day. So there's a lot to be thankful for. Uh, there's a lot when we consider the material things that we have, even uh, the physical things like our bodies and uh, health and strength. But there's the spiritual thankfulness that uh, all men should have toward our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The fact that he died in our place. And uh, matter of fact, the scriptures teach us that he is in heaven on the right hand of the Father, making intercession because we don't as believers, do everything right. Sometime we sin. And the only thing standing between us and God and judgment is Jesus. That's if you know him in the pardon of your sins. So, as I continue here, uh, you may think I'm rambling, but I'm not. I'm saying that everyone should have an attitude of thankfulness. And it's not a thankfulness that's just out there wandering around but our thankfulness should be towards God for God is all-powerful all-knowing and he's everywhere at the same time and he is concerned about you and concerned about me and yet he is so high and holy and he deserves thanks from men he deserves our praise and worship Again, I know that some people may not like this particular uh, segment of a senior's perspective with the twist, uh, yet I implore you to be appreciative towards God for all his blessings. He's been good to me. He's been good to you. So we have a lot to be thankful for in this day and time. I know we live in some terrible times with uh, diseases, running rampant all over the world, different kinds of diseases. And the one that many are facing today is that COVID. And uh, thanks to God, uh, many of us have not had that disease. Um, many of us have had the opportunity, you know, to get vaccinated. That's good. And we should be thankful for that, as well as we're thankful for our jobs, for our food on our tables, for health and strength for our families, uh, for what we possess. But we should also be thankful to God for he is daily. He daily, as the scripture says, he daily loadeth us with benefits. And we don't deserve any of them uh, because we're sinners, according to the scriptures. And we should be thankful to God for all he is doing uh, for us, each and every one of us, every single day. Even at this moment, he is upholding our very lives. He keeps us going until uh, that day or that time uh, that we have an appointment with death. Each of us do. Uh, that he calls us uh, to our, uh, uh, our uh, reward, uh, whether it be a good reward or a bad reward or whether it's judgment. Uh, he will be calling each of us. Uh, so, while we have breath in our bodies, let me just say it again. A senior's perspective with a twist, giving good advice. Everyone should be thankful for the blessings that come from God. For he is the giver of every good and perfect gift. Thank you for your time. And if you like this particular segment of a senior's perspective with a twist, we ask that you would touch that subscribe button. And if you feel you want to make a comment, we would appreciate that as well. 
Thank you and have a blessed day.